Now that's a nice view. Okay, we're going to let that burn for a little bit and try to uh, clean up that top grate. It's been a minute or two since I've used it. Hi friends, hey, welcome back to the Expeditionary Johnny Channel. I got a day off and I got a chance to go walking through the woods. I'm here at uh, Fontenelle Forest. Over on one side there's Gifford Farms. And over here right behind me is Fontenelle Forest. So as you can see on the sign behind me here, I've got a few choices here. There used to be an education system. There's some wetlands down that way. They've been doing construction over across that way. It goes along the Missouri River. And if I go up this road here, which is where I'm going to go, I get to hit some hills. And uh, that's going to let me head on up to those campgrounds where I can do a bit of cooking. Up this direction, I'm going to cross some train tracks. I can either turn left, follow the train tracks, and, and catch the trail up there, or if I go a little bit farther, there's another trail entrance. So I think I'll go up farther. That'll start me out on some hills. All right, so the reason I want to go ahead and go straight up is uh, I want to go ahead and start with the hills. It's going to give me a bit more distance before I actually get to the shelter location of the campgrounds where I can cook. And then from there, depending on how much time I have, I'll probably go down the other path come down by the train tracks and if I still have more time I'll go over by the river we'll see okay so this is where I'm going to start doing my hike now if you look directly across the street over here see that sign okay that is part of the, tr the trail system here at Fontenelle Forest if I had started up the hill and came work my way down I could come across here and actually cross the street over to this trailhead. So let's go ahead and go on up this way. So the beginning of this trail starts out with a nice switchback or two. Nothing terribly, but just got to know it's like when, <laughs> when your legs are getting warmed up. It's going to take a little bit of work. Well, Looks like they're doing some work up here to maintain the trails. They're gonna be doing a prescribed burn ahead. Do not report. All right, so if we see fire, we know why. All right, decision, decision. Do we wanna go up to Camp Wakanda? Why, yes, that's where we're gonna be having our lunch. Let's head on up there. So we gotta head down a little bit so we can uh, turn right and we'll go up again. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, coming up here to our next decision, we're going to be turning right up here and head over to the campground so we can go ahead and have our lunch here. So that was, this calls this Gray Squirrel Trail. Alright, so this trail is not as well maintained right now. I guess they haven't run the mowers through here, but that's okay. We know where we're going. Okay, so here I am up at the campgrounds. Just over this way, there's a nice fire pit. Right behind me, they've got this nice little pavilion, little picnic area. So I'm going to go ahead and sit in the shade and uh, make up some lunch here. All right, so today we're going to be uh, using our firebox stove to cook up a little beef sausage here. I do have my Leatherman out because my dexterity can be eh, a little questionable at times, and I've been known to fumble around with that grate attachment. Nothing wrong with the product, it's just me. To go with their sausage, well, hey, I've got some kraut that I got from Cheesehead Chris. I'm going to put it all on a bun, and then when we're done with our dessert, we're going to have us a little apple. Okay, we're going to let that burn for a little bit and try to uh, clean up that top grate. It's been a minute or two since I've used it.
I'm just sitting here waiting for the firebox stove for that flame to die down a little bit before I throw the sausage on there and just thought I'd do a quick visit. All right, so uh, today's video is just about getting out, showing a little bit of what we have here to offer in Nebraska and also, you know, following my theme as far as removing obstacles to getting outdoors, look, at, look for your local nature centers. Uh, a lot of times they might, they have a lot of great resources, sometimes classes. Uh, like right here, I've got, uh, I think, a good 10 miles worth of trails or so. And depending on how much time I got that day, I can kind of mix it up. Today, I chose the location where I've got options. I could have gone along the Missouri River, and I still might go there. It just depends on how quickly I'm done. Because, like, my wife, she's going to work like a half day today, and then she's going to take the rest of the day off. And I'm her ride. So if I get extra time, I'll keep walking. If I run out of time, I can go back. But if I would have, like... If I would have been aggressive and started up at the top of the hill, I could have run out of a shortage of time and wouldn't, wouldn't have not been able to sit down and uh, enjoy lunch. So it kind of gets to know, you know, it's helpful to get to know your local resources. And then that way you can kind of plan your day. You don't have to always have a full day excursion, maybe a half an hour, maybe an hour walk. It just depends on what you can do that day. I'm going to call this good enough. Let's go ahead and throw our, hot, our uh, sausage on the grill there. <laughs> I was a little scared it was going to roll off here, but let's go ahead and let that cook for a little bit, and uh, it'll be lunch time. Well, those flames were up pretty high, and this thing held a lot of heat, so that took like no time whatsoever. I got, you can see I got a pretty good char on there, but that's okay. I like the browning, so this, let's go ahead and put this on our bun. There we go. Makes me wish I would have brought my tripod. All right, let's go ahead and grab some sauerkraut. Now, doesn't that look good? And it really is super, super easy to do. All right, let's see how we did. Let's see, is it warm in the center or not? It is. Mmm. So very good. See, this is one of the pleasures of getting out and doing a little day hike. Uh, today, I, I literally just threw this together. I grabbed my two little canvas bags that I always carry. This is the big one with the cutting tools and whatnot. This is my fire bag. I threw in the firebox stove because I knew I wanted to cook with that. All I had to do is grab a few pieces of uh, branches. I got more than enough left over from that. Threw a sausage, a hot dog bun, and a bag of kraut, uh, an apple here to for dessert. I mean, really, really simple lunch, but oh. I'm outside here. I mean, what a great view. So here's why I like the firebox stove. Folds up to next to nothing. I put it inside this little container. And then here, from here, we can just store it very easily inside of our day pack right there. All right, so we finished our lunch and we're heading back. So I'm taking a different route, trying to give you guys a little bit more scenery and let me get some extra miles. So I am interested in having my channel grow. If this is the type of content you like, I would appreciate if you could hit that uh, uh, subscribe button. If you do want to see more of these day hikes and uh, maybe like cooking lunch, please hit that thumbs up button. Look at that. We've had a bit of wind damage up here from the different storms we have around here in Nebraska. Now that's a nice view. I hadn't seen this in a while. I forgot how pretty it is up here. Very cool. Oh, I suppose I won't go that way. I don't think the camera quite catches this, but it's really nice how you got that sunlight out there. So as I'm opening up, oh, yep, I'm already coming down to the train tracks down there. All right, let's keep on going down. There we go. There are some wetlands. I was beginning to wonder if they were still down here. There we go. That's what we're talking about. Hey, isn't that pretty? This was a nice surprise. I hadn't seen this in a very long time, so I'm really glad to be out here today. As I recall, if I were to go across that bridge there, 
that would take me along a, a trail along the wetlands along that way yeah I'm thinking that's not gonna happen today well I'm finally off the tracks and I'm heading back to the car while I don't recommend walking along train tracks I will tell you it gave me some extra views I wasn't expecting so that was cool is it recommended no but it was fun all right so that kind of wraps things up for this week I do appreciate you guys tuning in and so here is my wrap-up statement all right so hey I hope this inspires you to get out check out your local resources and uh, get a quick bite to eat and just make them a day of it or at least an afternoon of it all right y'all take care and see you on the next one Thank you.